So today's video is about finding the area of a shape within a shape. So let's first look at some examples of um, some real world examples of a shape within a shape. So one um, example could be like a wall with windows. So you have the outside wall which is one shape and then you have all of the windows which are some shapes inside of the wall. Another example of a shape within a shape would be like a tire where you have the outside circle and then you also have this inside circle. So we're going to look at some examples of finding the area of a shape within a shape. So here are, the, here are some steps to find the shape um, within a shape. So the first step is to find the area of the largest shape. Then the second step is find the area of all the shapes on the inside of the largest shape. And then you're going to subtract the area of the shapes inside the larger shape from the area of the largest shape. So let's look at this example. We want to find the area of this wall. So if we notice we have this wall here which is 10 feet by 15 and then inside the wall we have these two windows that are both 5 feet by 4 feet. So we want to find the area of the wall by also taking out the area that or the space that these windows are taking up. So the very first step is to find the area of the larger rectangle, so the area of the wall, of the big wall. So basically we're going to find what would the area of this rectangle be if it didn't have any windows in it, if we were just doing the area of the rectangle. So we would just do length times width and if we look the length is 15 and then the width is 10 so we're just going to do 15 times 10 which means the area of the large rectangle without the window, so the area of the wall if there were no windows in it would be 150 feet square. But what we do know is that this wall does have windows in it and the windows are taking up some of that space. Some of that 150 feet square is being taken away from the windows, taken away by the windows. So now we want to find out well how much space from this wall are the windows taking up. So that means we got to find the area of the smaller rectangles. So if we look back at our original picture we have these two windows here. So we know this window here is taking up 5 feet by 4 feet and then this window here is also 5 feet by 4 feet. So we want to know well how much area or how much space are these two windows taking up so we have to find the area of both windows. So to find the area of each window we're going to do the length times the width and so we will find that each of the windows take up an area of 20 feet squared. So out of this 150 feet square we know that both of the windows are both taking up 20 feet of that 150 feet. So to find what the area of the wall is with the windows inside of it, we're going to take the area of the smaller shapes, the area of the two windows, and we're going to subtract it from the area of the large rectangle or the wall. So we're going to do 150 minus 20 for the first window and minus another 20 for the second window, which means the area of the wall itself is 110 feet squared. So another example I gave you is about a tire. So we want to find the area of the tire, meaning we want to know what's the area of this gray part here. So the first step again is to find the area of the big circle. So we have this circle here. And we want to know what is the area of this circle. Now to find the area of a circle, we need to know, excuse me, what the radius of the circle is. So if we're looking only at the big circle we can see that the radius of the big circle is going to be this 7 inches. So we're going to start by writing out our formula and we know our formula is area equals pi times the radius times the radius. We know that the radius of the circle is 7 so we know that to find the area we're going to do 3.14 times 7 times 7 which means that the area of the larger circle is 153.86 inches squared. So now what we've got to do is find the area of the smaller circle, which is this circle here. Now when we find the area of this circle, again, we need to figure out what's the radius of this circle. So if we look, the radius of the smaller circle is 3 inches. So now to find the area of the smaller circle, we're going to do, again, pi times the radius times the radius. This time our radius is 3, so we're going to do 3.14 times 3 times 3 which means the area of the smaller circle is 28.26 inches squared. And so now in order for us to get the area of just the shaded area, the area of just the gray part, we're going to subtract 
the area of the big circle from the area of the small circle. So we're going to do 153.86 and we're going to subtract the 28.26 which means the area of the tire, which is the gray part, is 125.60 inches squared. So the important thing to remember when you have a shape inside of a shape is that you first have to find the area of the larger shape, then find the area of the smaller shape or shapes, it could be more than one, and then subtract the smaller shapes from the larger one and it will tell you the area of the shape within a shape.